Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my Best of Beauty video for 2016. Hopefully if you guys haven't seen any types of videos like this online, it's pretty much just my yearly favorites, all my favorite beauty products from this year. I'm just going to give you guys kind of a rundown on all of the favorite products that I've been loving throughout the year of 2016. So I think this video is going to end up being really long, so I'm going to jump right into it. So I'm kind of going to start off like from how I would do my makeup, so like primer and then like eyeshadow, da, da, da. So my two favorite primers of 2016 are definitely this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've been using this like all year. Even when I do tutorials and I don't show you guys like what primer I'm using, I'm always using this one. It's super moisturizing. It's very like good for your skin because it has a lot of good vitamins and hydrating properties it just makes your makeup look so flawless and like smooth and just hydrated and like plump on your skin almost especially when my skin is a lot drier in the winter time i love to use this to like restore hydration in my skin and just prep for makeup and then i also love this bye bye pores primer from it cosmetics this is not a hydrating primer whatsoever it's a smoothing primer um i love this stuff because it makes my skin look super flawless under makeup like right now i used it and it just all looks very smooth and porcelain like almost like it just looks like porcelain doll just very smooth it fills any little fine lines wrinkles pores it smooths out any texture so if you like acne or texture anywhere this will definitely help you out without giving you a dry kind of look to your skin i find that most smoothing primers make your skin look really dry and crackly and stuff and I don't like that but this one does not do that it's super hydrating just makes your skin look very like youthful and smooth and healthy so I love this definitely check it out if you guys have texture or you just want a good smoothing primer this is definitely the best one that I've found all year it's amazing okay and next I actually have a bunch of foundations to show you but the first two are these two I use these in every single video they're my favorite foundations ever um, I don't use them separately I actually just like to use these together um, and like mix them together I love mixing foundations to get that perfect formula that I want in my makeup so for example this is a really pretty like dewy finish but this one has the coverage that I like so I just like mixing them together this is the cover effects natural finish oil free foundation this is actually my second tubes of both of these they work really well if you have like problematic combo skin like mine I have an oily kind of t-zone area but then I get dry everywhere else and this foundation just goes on very smoothly on whatever kind of skin problems I'm having that day and I always have skin problems and these just always work for me no matter what these are my go-to foundations I just love them mixed together they're bomb I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to try them out I recommend trying them together but they do still work really well like separately also I just quickly wanted to mention this one this is the makeup forever ultra HD stick um, I love this stick foundation this is definitely my favorite stick foundation that I've ever tried this is the only stick foundation that actually has like a dewy really blendable finish most stick foundations they don't really blend out that great on me but this one is super super dewy it looks very healthy and glowy on the skin and i love this the coverage is great definitely a go-to stick foundation for me and these are my favorite liquid foundations this is my favorite stick so okay so next thing is my concealer my favorite concealer of the year this is definitely the tarte shape tape concealer I just love this concealer so much. This concealer is great for highlighting or under eye concealing or even spot concealing because it has a thick texture but it's not like drying or heavy on the skin. It blends out super flawlessly. It doesn't really crease very easily either. Like most concealers crease pretty quickly on me. Um, but this one I do have some time to work with it. Yeah, it's just amazing. Definitely check this out. This is my favorite, favorite concealer ever. And my next favorite of the year, I'm sure you guys could guess, is the Airspun Powder. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. This is a loose base powder. Um, there are different like versions of it or whatever, but this is just the translucent version here. I'll just hold it up here so you guys can see. But there are like colored ones too. I use the translucent one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best powder I've ever, ever, ever tried. It's better than the Laura Mercier one. It's better than the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the best face powder I've ever used. The thing that I love about it is it kind of like smooths out your skin. When you set it, it just makes it all look very smoothed out and velvety almost, like very just matte velvety finish and it sets my makeup really really well so that it lasts all day i love this powder i don't think i'll stop using it even in 2017 i just love this powder and i am pretty picky about like face setting powders but this one is definitely the best and also this tub is pretty like big like i've used this all year pretty much 
like every day when I film I use this and I still have so much left so definitely go check this out it is in the drugstore you guys can find it like if you live in New York it's in Dwayne Reed's Walgreens things like that or you can just find it online somewhere like Amazon I'll have it linked down below if you guys can't find it in stores but definitely go check it out it's also very cheap compared to the Laura Mercier one and stuff so this is bomb fire get it okay my favorite is this Giorgio Armani luminous look powder foundation this is my favorite, favorite powder. I'm sure you can tell because I hit tan on it. I like to use it after I apply my foundation and set my under eyes with the Airspun powder um, because it does give me a little bit of extra coverage and it has a very velvety, smooth finish to the skin and I do kind of have like combo skin. Um, so I do get dry sometimes, especially in the winter time and this doesn't give me like a cakey, really dry look to the skin. It just looks very velvety and smooth and I love it. It's amazing. It is really, really pricey though. So I'm not sure if you guys really do need to go splurge some money on it, but I definitely do recommend it if you guys want to splurge on a powder. This one is amazing. It's just really, really, really expensive. And I hate that I like it as much as I do for the price, but it's so good. I can't even lie to you guys. It's bomb. Next product. Okay. So my favorite bronzer of the year has definitely been this Jouer Suntan Bronzer. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so my problem with bronzers, I'm super pale and like pasty. If you guys are super like pale, um, like me, you have kind of like a pink undertone. Um, it is really hard to find good bronzers that have the perfect like tone in them that aren't too warm to the fact that it looks orange or too cool that it looks like muddy and gross on your skin. This one is not either. I don't know how to describe this color. It's not like warm and it's not cool. It's just right, right in the middle. It's like the perfect shade I love. Love, love this bronzer. I'm wearing it right now. It's just the best that I found all year. I love it so much. Definitely go check it out. Okay, and then my favorite contour of the year is definitely the Anastasia Contour Kit. Just because this shade specifically, I don't pretty much use any other shades in this palette. I just use this one. It is also really hard to find a good contour shade if you're really pale like me. And this one is definitely my favorite favorite contour color most contours are obviously super super dark and like do not look natural whatsoever but this one just has the most natural looking contour on me like i'm not i didn't contour today or anything but okay you know what? let me show you guys where the fuck is my contour brush oh my god okay i can't find my brush but i, want, I just want to show you guys like how natural this i found it how natural this contour looks on my skin tone. So this is actually Fawn. If you guys want to buy it individually, you can. I'll have a link down below. You don't have to buy like the whole $40 palette. Um, they do sell them like individually. So I'm just gonna take this on a little brush and show you guys how natural this looks. So just like that. And it looks super it just doesn't even look like they're contoured, it just looks like my cheekbones are like naturally really sunken in so i love this one definitely a favorite of the year i'm obsessed definitely recommend if you're pale as fuck like me okay so then my favorite blush of the year has definitely been milani luminoso this isn't even just like my favorite blush of like the year this is my favorite blush of all time it's my favorite blush it's the one i'm wearing right now i just i'm super picky about blushes honestly i just don't really like blush that much but this one i'm obsessed with it has like a really peachy tone but it has a sheen to it so it just looks very healthy and luminous, which is why it's called Milani Luminoso. But yeah, it just has like a little sheen to it almost, and it just looks very luminous and glowy and like heavenly on your cheeks. It just makes your cheeks look like heaven, and I just love, love, love this blush. And I do prefer peachy blushes because they look the most natural in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I just love this blush. It is drugstore, so definitely check it out. And then I have two favorite highlights of the year. Obviously, I could just pick one. <laughs> so the first favorite of the year has definitely been Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. This is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you can see. There it is. It's like the perfect champagne highlight. It just looks like a glow from within almost. Like it's the perfect tone. It's not too, too poppin' or whatever to the fact that it like emphasizes all your texture and stuff. So this is like the perfect everyday highlight for me. Uh, when I'm just like going out or just doing like a simple makeup like this, this is definitely the highlight that I typically go to. And then my next favorite is the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator. This is what it looks like. This recently came back. It was out of stock for like six months or something like that. But they did bring it back, which I'm so happy about because this is like one of my favorite highlighters ever. This is my favorite like goldish kind of highlight. I just love how it looks on my skin tone. Most gold highlights will come off super dark on me and it'll leave kind of a weird cast to my face when I look forward like it'll leave a weird little gray cast on me but this one does not do that it's like the perfect 
perfect gold in my opinion but this is like my go-to highlight when i want something gold or like bronzy on my skin let me swatch it actually for you guys so it's super super metallic and pretty this is it next to the mary luminizer it's a lot more metallic as you can see yeah these are definitely my two favorites of the year i just go for these ones okay and now moving on to eyeshadows i do have a lot of eyeshadow favorites just because eyeshadows are my like like i couldn't just pick one favorite of the year because i use so many eyeshadows so the first eyeshadows that are my favorites obviously are makeup geek shadows these are all my z palettes i kind of organize them by color so this is my warm kind of orangey neutral tone palette and then i have purpley like and berry tones i don't know if you can see because of my ring light and then i have green blue and then like neutral kind of corally colors over here and i just always go to my z palettes for when i'm doing makeup looks this makeup piece just has every color that you need the pigmentation is amazing on them the blendability they're just the best eyeshadows in the game in my opinion so i love love my z palettes they're definitely my go-to's of this year i've been using them like crazy in all my tutorials pretty much these are just my favorite eyeshadows to use. And also the color range is super versatile. They have like every color you could possibly look for in an eyeshadow and they are super affordable as well. Most single eyeshadows are really, really expensive, but these ones are not. They're super cheap. They're not like cheap, cheap, but they are more affordable than the usual like $12 pan of eyeshadows. So I love these. They're like, I think these are like $6 a pan for the regular shadows and then nine for the spoiled shadows which is still pretty cheap for single eyeshadows most of them retail for like twelve dollars or sixteen dollars which is crazy but yeah these are definitely my favorite favorite singles of the year since i can't just mention like one favorite eyeshadow palette my next favorite is definitely the modern renaissance palette from anastasia this palette is just like my favorite because it has everything that i pretty much need these are all like my go-to shadows and i feel like there's not just like one shadow in here that i don't use as you can tell this palette is pretty beat up because i use it all the time i take it with me when i travel because it has like everything that i need and go to it's all like those kind of warm berry tones which are definitely my favorite so i love love this palette the formulation is also really really nice in this palette like all the colors are super intensely pigmented and buttery like the texture of these shadows is something else you guys definitely just buy it to feel the texture like all of the shadows are so crazy pigmented and buttery i just love love this palette i have so many tutorials up with it as well if you guys want to see tutorials using this palette i have a bunch back in my channel so go check those out okay my next favorite palette of the year this is definitely my go-to palette for when i wanted to do colorful like out there looks this is the 35 B palette from Morphe. Here's what it looks like. This is definitely going to be scary for those of you who stick to pretty much like neutral everyday looks. But when you're a makeup artist like me, you definitely need a go-to palette for when you want to do colorful, crazy looks. And this one is definitely that. Formulation is also really nice. I feel like people kind of have this like conception about Morphe shadows that they're really like chalky and cheap, but they're not. They actually perform really, really well on your eyes. Um, ask any other makeup artist that uses Morphe shadows. They're amazing quality and the color selection is amazing, especially in this palette. This is my go-to Morphe palette for when I do colorful looks, so that's that. I also just wanted to mention these Urban Decay glitter liners. These are the heavy metal glitter liners. I've been using this like crazy all year. They're definitely like my go-to. I like to use them to like create kind of like glitter liner looks or in between cut creases like I have a look like that up or when I want to use it as a glitter adhesive or just on top of a shadow to give it kind of a pop. There's just so many different ways you can use them. But the colors that I have are glam rock and midnight cowboy so next my favorite lashes of 2016 i even have to say it like do i have to say what my favorite lashes are i'm sure you guys can tell but they are the lily lashes in miami these are actually a new pair because i just wanted to show you guys like what they look like when they're not beaten up and used as fuck like when i show you guys um i have them on right now too because they're just my favorite they really open up your eyes they look super like PC and they just make your eyes look super big and like doll like love these lashes this is what they look like when they're new yeah I also do have a discount code if you guys want to save money on them it's just Tina for I believe it's 10 or 15 percent off I'm not sure I'll have it down below in my description box if you guys want to pick these up but these were definitely my favorite of the year I use them in like every tutorial so definitely check them out they're also super comfortable like I can wear them all day and they're just very lightweight on your eyes so I love 
love them. So finishing up this Best of Beauty 2016, the last thing I kind of have to talk about are lipsticks. And my favorite formula of the year, oh, of course I would drop them. Okay. So my favorite formula of 2016 when it comes to lipsticks is definitely the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't have like a favorite shade. It's just the formula of these is so comfortable they're super pigmented there's a full range of colors to pick from if you don't like wearing lips liquid lipsticks or your lips are really dry these ones are great they're super comfortable they don't transfer they last all day i just love this formula it's my favorite formula liquid lipstick of all time i don't know what it is with these but they're not drying like at all even though they do have a really matte like long lasting finish but yeah those are my favorite products of 2016 these just been my go-to products all year Year. These are just the products that work for me best. They have been the products I've been loving all year. Also guys, leave a comment telling me what your 2016 favorites are. I want to try out some more like new products because I pretty much use like the same things all the time. So definitely let me know what your favorites are so I can go check them out, review them, do some of the tutorials, stuff like that. Also, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing new year. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Make sure to like this video and subscribe on your way out. I upload twice a week. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.